Now I just gotta make sure the stream is working on my end. God, the music is just beautiful. Okay. Okay. Um... And my stream froze on my computer. So hopefully this is working. Um, hi guys, this is Roland Style, and this is my second stream of Beyond Two Souls, or um, my second video. Um, so I believe we last left off on um, we did. CIA training, right? I think Does that sound about right. I think so. I think that sounds about right. So anyway, um, we are going to be doing Hunted next. Set my controller down for one second. Ooh, and my controller just fell. That's great. Uh, I'm just trying to make sure my sound is working. Yeah, okay, my sound's all good. Sorry if you heard some repeat. I just needed to make sure that my stuff is recording and I can only sit like two inches away from my controller by the way that my turtle features are plugged in. So, that's great. Ugh. All right. Um, I am so unprepared. All right. But I've been planning this all day, actually. So, we're on the train. Jody's looking peaceful. That's fine. Back off, Aiden. I'll get all up in your face. I'll days. get in your face. Hey, I'm tired. Literally, I don't care. Fuck your bag, sir. Screw your bag. Should we let her get caught? No, we have to protect her somewhat, right? Wake her up. Told you that Yeah, this time it's not fake. doing bye and go and go and go and this way
Oh my god, did it really have to take off her jacket like that? That made me a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, are you crazy? Is that supposed to be Ethan Mars? No. I was gonna say, because I didn't look like him at all. Get out the window. Go, Jody. And your hat is gone. Go, get off! Get off! Yeah, she would be not living right now. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, excuse me, Sarah, this is first class. I can't be up here. Just a hop, skip, and a jump. Oh my god. Alright. Yeah. In the face. You guys were all above my weight class, but whatever. Ah. Okay. What if you were just like, nah. I'm not gonna help you. I'm just gonna let you fall to your death. Nah, but it's cool. I'll help you. Okay. <laughs> And we're walking through a forest. Yeah, I know. We gotta get out of here before they come back. Yeah. She says that a lot in this game. No, what are you waiting for? Okay, we go. Up. No, Jody, go. Down. Ow. Go, why did you stop? That's what he said. Huh. Down. Oh, out. Go. All right. Go, 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 And up we go. Up we go, up we go. I don't even know where I am supposed to be going. Go, Jody, stop stopping. Go. This is where I need to go to, right? Pretty sure that's where I needed to go, but 
You probably have to get attacked by the dogs anyway. That's been my experience with this game. And beat up the dogs, because beating up humans wasn't enough. You know, in retrospect, these dogs are just like doing their jobs, and they probably have like no idea. Not that dogs aren't smart, I'm just saying. Like, they don't deserve. They don't deserve to be beaten with a stick. Or kicked. But Jody doesn't deserve to be mauled in the face either. Get off me! If you wanted to lick me, all you had to do was ask. Okay, Jody, I think they get the message. Calm down. Uh, uh, L1. L2. R2. Up one. Two. This is just like what we did in basic training. Hold. See anything? Nothing but rock. And she'd never be able to make it up there. Hmm. Shit. We must have missed it. Travis, bring back those goddamn dogs. Great. Okay, go up. I think I'm gonna make this stream, or video, sorry. I'm gonna make this stream slash video about 40 minutes and then I'm gonna keep playing for about another 40 and then probably stop. But if you're on YouTube, you won't have to worry about it because you don't know exactly how long this video is. Alright. So basically, you just gotta creep our way over here. I'm gonna borrow your body for a second. Grab a shotgun that's in the back of the trunk for some reason. Shouldn't they all be armed if Jody is like this dangerous person who needs to be brought in? Crazy? Put the fucking gun down now! Hey! What the fuck are you doing? Go! Hi, Mike! How you fucking mind? See all the bike. Go. Now, don't be fooled by this next section. You can't really mess up. You just kind of... You're given the illusion that you're driving, but actually you're not. Like, literally, I'm not even driving right now. Like... Okay, well, maybe you have to hold the accelerator button, but other than that... So, I mean, it's cool, but... Could've been cooler. Lights. Get to the left here, go to the right, and go to the right, stay in the Oh god. Yeah, you can't really mess up here though. I wish you could, that would be fun. So, should I mess her up or should I actually follow through? 
Eh, I'm up for causing some chaos, so let's destroy an entire town. Hold your position. No choice. We're going straight through. Are you ready, Ian? Jody also says that a lot too. We're going straight through. Cause Jody's a badass. Fuck the police. Hold your fire! That's it! Hold your fire! Roblox Tango. We missed her. I repeat, we missed her. She said it for Baker Town. So they can shoot a tire off a motorcycle that's going 100 miles per hour, maybe less. But they can't shoot Jody when she's going towards them on a motorcycle, like earlier. Okay, and in this scene, Jody is once again an arsonist. He lets you burn the house down. We. What else did we burn down? Take care of them, we almost burned Nathan's office to the ground. I don't think they would have let me, but I would have certainly tried. Excuse me. It's <sighs> great. Excuse me. Gonna borrow that from you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's official that um, at least Jody is at least part arsonist. Because I think. Where is the um, gun store? 20 Trader? I don't think that's the gun store. There we go. Yep, <laughs> arsonist. Let's go for the clock tower. Where is that? Where is the clock tower? There it is. Excuse me. We're everywhere. Help me, Ivan. Fucking help me. I'm working on it. All right, I'm knocking stuff down. Ivan, they're coming. Keep them off me. What the fuck is she doing? Get in! Open the door! Gotcha, girl. We could be an asshole to people, but I feel like Aiden's number one goal is to save Jody. That's like why she's here. So. Helicopter time. You gotta help me. I'm working on it, Jody. Did you see that? Ah. Kill them all. Aiden is a ride or die homie.
Again, I want to apologize if you can hear some uh, repeating audio. I'm watching my stream right next to me, and the microphone might be picking up a little bit of my... You pretty much did that, but <laughs> okay. I mean, I'll, I'll do it again. That's not a problem. I'm just saying we pretty much killed everyone. I mean, we dropped a helicopter on them. We set two stores on fire. Like, yeah. The movie theater is okay though. This town is, at least still has a movie theater. So how? How else could this have played out? Um. So, ooh. Oh, did. Oh. Oh. Um. Evaded the arrest. Escaped in the forest. Wrecked havoc on the town. Reached the train roof window. Escaped with the motorbike. So I'm guessing. The other option of the first one is get caught on the train. Third, the second one is probably, um, um, what, oh, you get caught by the dogs, um, the third one is, you get caught by, um, you get caught and you end up sitting in the vehicle with the guys and then destroying that vehicle, uh, the fourth one is, um, having to do with getting caught on the train and then that one is, I don't know. That is not okay. Nope, nope. Mommy! I used to I used to do that a lot when I was younger. I was scared of the dark. I was really scared of the dark when I was younger. And I would my mom would get so annoyed with me. I would hey, scream mom at the top of my lungs. Why don't you find something to do? I really resonate with this game's message of depression um, because it's something that I struggle with so I mean it's it's really interesting to see the way David Cage approaches it I mean I know a lot of people think um, a lot of things about David Cage and he I and I'll say he's not the most politically correct person or n not the most um he he's not the most r respectful people when it comes to sensitive subjects but i do think he means well and that's not to excuse his sometimes offensive portrayal of female protagonists in a game or even female characters. But I think he really tried to remedy this in Beyond Two Souls with Jody. Although there is one issue with Jody's story that I'll be talking about later if we get to it. I don't think we'll get into it this video or the next one, but um there's a specific moment in the game where it's kind of like, did that really need to happen, David? Like, really? But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Can I have a cookie? It's almost dinner time, sweetheart. <laughs> eat a good now, we'll eat your dinner. Oh, it's, it's all right, girl, I got you. You want a cookie? I got it for you.
There you go. Yeah, fuck you, mom. Eat a cookie if I want to. Let's go mess with dad. I'll teach you to ignore your daughter. Ah. Yeah. Can I can I mess up anything else? I saw that, didn't I? No? Okay. Controls are kind of stiff sometimes. My mom always hid the Christmas presents in her closet and I knew exactly where they were. She knew I did too, but she never moved them. Had it. Come on. There we go. I'm so sorry. I did everything. I could. So, and again, this is. I'm. I'll try not to spoil the ending for you, but I will say that that scene represents jo in my opinion I don't know I'm not like this perfect analytical analyzer but um analytical an analytical analyzer I mean like I'm not perfect at analyzing scenes but I will say that that memory that she saw air, qu air quotes around the word memory um, Jody, honey, would you give me a favor? Shut up, Mom. I'm trying to could you give talk to people from the garage? when I'm ready. Sure, no problem. So, I think that represents her skewed version of her reality. So, like, she sees it that way, but I don't think that what Aiden showed her was exactly what she was meant to see. And what I'm saying will make sense when we get to that part in the game. Oops. Other way. Bit of foreshadowing here. So, not only can Jody call upon Aiden, she can see the future a little bit. Just like Lucas Kane. Which is from Indigo Prophecy. If you don't know. That's another It's another Quantic Dream game. There's Bunny Gruff. I love Bunny Gruff. Well, we we better go to the basement before mom has a heart attack. But first, let's play with our dollies. Hey, Fairy Blossom. Do you want to come over to my house for tea? Oh, yes, I'd love to. Okie dokie, we'll go in my car. I love your car. Yeah, I chose it myself. And it goes really, really fast. <laughs> Wait, come on, let's go. 
this way. It sounded like, it sounded like she said, Wee! Me for my birthday. <laughs> Would you like some sugar in your tea, Fairy Blossom? Oh, no, thanks. I wish Ellen Page had Is been out. He's good. He's working. Oh, I'm being creepy. Creepily awesome. Stop that, I told you I didn't want to play with you anymore. But like I was saying, I kind of wish Ellen Page was out of the closet at this time because I really want her to have a female romance option just because I mean I know she's an actor and that's what you do is you act like you're in love and that's fine I just think it'd be cool probably it'd be more comfortable for her too maybe not though Fine, I'll get your stupid oil. Who keeps oil in the garage? Why is this not in the kitchen? Because she wants, like, cooking oil. Okay, Jody, if you're scared, don't go slow. You need to, like, run. Run, girl. Um, I think there's a bonus around here. No? Come on. Come on, girl. You got this. No, door. Door, no. Here's your stupid oil. Thanks, sweetheart. Come on, honey. I gotta get down ready. Screw you, I want a hug. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. I just wanted, just wanted a hug. Want better now? Okay, I gotta get back to work, honey. Sweetheart, why don't you go outside and play? I'll call you when dinner's ready. No, I don't want to go outside. Gonna go see what else we can do in the house before we go outside. Is the phone? Let's go in mom's room and snoop through all the crap. Lipstick is not that easy to get off, but all right, let's go outside. And down the stairs. Get a coat on.
That is a really cute snow outfit. That's awesome. Too bad we have to play out in the backyard like a weirdo because our parents don't accept us. I'm going. Well, the mom does for the, mo for, for the most part. Oh my god, <gasps> can I mess with the mom? Please tell me I can mess with her. Aw, did I miss my chance? Damn it. Well, we said in the last stream yesterday that Jody is a god, and because she is a god, she deserves an awesome statue. Bow before her. Great snowman, Eden. That's not a snowman, that's like an ice sculpture. If you want a snowman, build one yourself. That is like a work of art. I know you're nine, but how dare you call my artistic masterpiece snowman. Oops, where's the hole in the fence? There it is. Gotcha. I just found a way to have some fun. I'm gonna make you pay for that. Pay for that. <laughs> okay, I know we're not supposed to. Come on, we'll just play for five minutes and come back. Mom will never know. Parents always know. I didn't. You're the best. Why did it just echo like that? That's weird. Another thing you didn't know about Jody is she has an arm of Babe Ruth. Was Babe Ruth good at swinging or hitting? I don't know. I'm not a sports person. Where are the children? Yes. In the face. Ow, you asshole. Who did that? Come over here. I know you're little, but I'm going to... Ha! Your face went in the car. Ha! I want to hit you again. Yeah, screw you. I'm going to go after you completely. Ha! I made you overshot. Yes. Ah! Uh. Yeah, no, no, no. Aiden's got this. Just gonna give you a little choke seat, and I'm gonna let you go, because you're a little boy. If you were the age of 16 or older, you would be dead. But because you're little, I'll let you go. She nearly killed me! You saw what she did to me? She's a witch! A dirty, rotten witch! And you have horrible bangs. I can say hurtful things too. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on. Get in the house. Mm. What happened? What were you doing in the street? You know you're not allowed to leave the yard. I saw the other kids playing. I just wanted to have some fun. What did you do to that boy? Jess choked him a little bit. He was trying to defend me. I'm sick and tired of your story. Lay one hand on me and find out what happens. Okay. You better let let her go right now. Go to your room. No. I will kill you. Touch her again and I will kill you. Touch the mom or Jody and I will kill you. Try to get some sleep, sweetheart. Everything will be better in the morning, okay? Yeah, I still have to live with that monster in my house. Jody's not the scary one. Mommy. Her father is. I'm afraid of the monster, Mommy. He's gonna get me. Like the mom. Get some sleep, sweetie.
she kind of, well, she rejects Jody's, like, what she sees as, like, imagination or whatever, but, like, but, like, any adult would question whether Jody was seeing what she's seeing because it's hard to believe, so I don't think it's unrealistic for her to be like, my daughter just has a crazy imagination. Not crazy, she crazy is the wrong word, herself. but She's active. Girl. See? You've seen what you can do, right? Susan, that's no little girl. That's a, Susan, that's a monster. You um, no, you're like the monster, that. dude. You were gonna hit a little girl. The things that are happening around her, they're not normal, and they're getting stronger for the love of God. Susan, what's to stop yeah, us from so turning on us? Yeah, so I can protect her from you. Ridiculous. Susan, that thing is like an uncontrollable animal. We have no idea what it's capable of. We have a demon living with us right under her own roof. Susan, this is going to stop, and it's going to stop now, before we end up crazy You're damn or right dead. it's going to stop now. You're not going to touch her. We if you do, to then you're dead. A little girl, Susan, but not this. Not this. That is one thing I do not tolerate. Nope, nope, nope. Let's turn to the side. I'm probably gonna end after this. So I want it to be shorter than an hour at least. This poor girl, man. Get bunny graph. Bunny Gruff is my girl. There's no reason to be scared, Aiden. We're going to sleep, and nothing is going to happen. I won't let it happen, Jerry. Don't worry. You believe her now, you asshole? Her voice is raw from screaming. Are there different, um... So let's see, ate the cookie, didn't eat the cookie I'm guessing, exited the garage in time, didn't exit the garage, did mischievous things, well hell yeah! And then found the shoe box, and I'm guessing didn't find the shoe box. Anyway, um, so this is the end of the second episode of Beyond Two Souls. Um, I'm going to keep streaming the game, but in order to cut the video short on YouTube, I'm going to cut the stream off, but then I'll be right back on. So, yeah. Um, stay tuned for more episodes of Beyond Two Souls. This is Rolling Style. Keep on rolling, guys. Bye.